Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my show, William Wallace for America. I'm really excited with today because I have Clay Clark, who's with the Reawakening America Tour. And you'll see why I'm excited after you spend a little time with him on the interview. Clay, thank you so much for coming on my show today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. William Wallace. William Wallace. Yes. I'm on the William <laughs> Wallace for the American show. All right. I, I don't I don't have my face painted blue today, but you know, I may or may yeah. not have a kilt on underneath underneath the camera level. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Well, I, I really do appreciate you. I love the name, love what you're doing for our country, and honored to be here with you. You know, when I, when I 10 years ago when I started my show and I went, I was thinking what, what was a name my show, you know, somebody said, Well, William Wallace. You're always about freedom and liberty. Remember that guy, William Wallace in Scotland? He was fighting for freedom in, in Scotland. You can be William Wallace for America, fighting for freedom in America. And I said, you know what? That's perfect. But you're also fighting for freedom, Clay. I, and, and I'd love to introduce to my audience when you get, when you got started with your tour and how you got started with it. Well, um, the tour is something that I sincerely hope to stop doing as soon as possible. Okay. So the reason I started the reawaken America tour was to attempt to stop the great reset. So it wasn't something I wanted to okay. do. It's not, not something I even want to do. It's something that I feel like I'm supposed to do. And so, uh, when I, when I heard that the mayor of Tulsa was going to uh, lock down the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma, or was talking about it, when I heard that there were lockdown discussions, uh, I knew that the models that said the 2.2 million people would die from COVID were false. I knew the polymerase chain reaction test, the PCR tests were falsely calibrated to inflate cases. I knew COVID was 100% treatable with uh, hydroxychloroquine. I knew that the system and method for testing for COVID-19 was patented in 2015. I knew all these things, and I knew this thing called the Great Reset was a plan written by this guy, Klaus Schwab. And so I knew That's that. Right. So I thought, what I'm going to do is I love the mask. Yeah, government. I love that. I was like, I'm going to meet with the governor, the, the lieutenant governor, the attorney general. I'll meet with the congressmen, the senators. I'm going to meet all these people. And if they capitulate to this ridiculous Great Reset narrative, I'm going to sue the mayor of Tulsa and uh, turn my building into a church because I knew that most of the churches in Tulsa would fold because they tend to be weak or woke That's or right. both. And so um, – here it came, the lockdowns. And so uh, myself and Dr. Zellner and, and uh, Steve Currington and business friends of mine, we sued the mayor of Tulsa. I turned my building into a church. And now if you go to rumble.com and you search for Remnant Church, most Thursdays, and today's a Thursday, most Thursdays we have about 20,000 people that tune in every Thursday to watch the live streaming of our Remnant Church services. And we do those for free. And uh, we talk about all, all the topics you're not supposed to talk about. So that, that's again how it happened. Great. And then at a certain point, William, uh, the town halls and the church services began growing and growing and growing. And uh, General Flynn attended one of those. And uh, at that point, uh, Pastor Jackson Lawmeyer was uh, General Flynn was endorsing Pastor Jackson Lawmeyer to run for office. I met General Flynn and uh, we hit it off. And I just told him, I said, hey, sir, I really feel like um, we are supposed to team up to do an event to share the truth about election fraud, medical fraud, religious fraud, and monetary fraud, and get people back to God. And uh, he, without flinching, said, I know, and it has to happen through the church. So we did the first one. Uh, we had about 5,500 people show up. Uh, we had over 50,000 people request a ticket, and uh, we reached 7.3 million, sorry, 7.1 million people streamed, um, and it was extremely unprofitable because I let people name their prices, and I thought we would be done um, and, uh, uh, and I thought we'd reached people and uh, I thought kind of a mission accomplished sort of thing. Um, and then general Flynn called me and goes, you know, the great reset's not going to stop. And that event was well received. We should do another one. And so I think now we're on event number 20. And so we're doing a Trump Doral, Miami, Florida, uh, Trump Doral coming up here in May. Exactly. Um, and again, just under 250 tickets left. And if you want those tickets, folks, you can go to time to free America.com time to free America.com. And uh, we let people name their price. So we make it affordable for everybody. I love this. Now, if you don't mind me asking, what was your background before you did all this? Well, um, I, uh, I don't, uh, uh, I'll give you the abbreviated version. I grew up very poor. A lot of your listeners probably grew up more poor than I grew up, but I grew up poor where, you know, it's like yellow boxes are everywhere. It's like your home's being invaded by yellow boxes. Um, <laughs> yeah. My dad delivered pizzas. My dad worked at a gas station, did what he could do to provide for our family. And uh, I decided at about the age 15 that I 
wouldn't be poor anymore. And so step one, if you're listening out there, this is how, how you do it. Um, in a capitalist society, you, you find a problem. Step one. Step two, you solve the problem. Step three, you try to sell the solution. And step four, you nail it and scale it. And so I started a, a T-shirt company. I started an entertainment company doing weddings out of my parents' basement. Uh, long story short, before I sold that company, it was called DJConnection.com. We were doing about 4,000 events a year. I was the uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma Entrepreneur of the Year when I was 20. And then I was 26. I was the uh, Oklahoma Entrepreneur of the Year from the SBA. And I sold that company and then got involved in the dental, photography, legal, um, medical, sports, fitness, um, home flipping, uh, businesses. And if you go to thrivetimeshow.com, it's kind of documented there. You can see. And, uh, at one point I looked up and it occurred to me, I had 160 clients and how I make money. Uh, William, is I charge my clients $1,700 a month. So one seven zero zero per month is kind of a placeholder recurring revenue. And then I get a small percentage of their growth. So I, I don't really do well unless my client does well. Exactly. But what we do right. for that seventeen hundred dollars is we do photography, videography, web development, search engine optimization, online advertisement, bookkeeping, accounting, uh, organizational documents, workflow mapping. I do all that, and I have a workshop they can come to every two months. And we have a weekly meeting where they're stuck in a room with me for about an hour, and I harass all my clients every week. <laughs> and anyway, so my wife one day she pointed out she said, "Hey, we have one hundred and sixty clients," and I thought, you know. I really don't want to have more than that. So I've been kind of, uh, I've hit all my financial goals before the age of 30. And if I wasn't trying to save America, I would always work six days a week, every week, because that's what I do. So I always wake up at 3 a.m. every day and I work until 6 p.m. every day. I do it six days a week. I don't make, I don't take days off. Um, I don't get sick. If I do get sick, I take DayQuil and I just work like that. And that's just how I am. And then I feel like God arrested my attention and said, hey, you need to put your energy on this great reset thing. So that's kind of what I do now. And now Devin Nunez and Cash Patel and General Flynn and Eric and uh, we've all gotten to be friends. And it, at a certain point, William, it, it, with all those relationships, someone will say to me, can I ask you? how do you make any money on this? And I go, well, I don't, you see, uh, I let people name their price. Uh, and the Rolling Stone did a hit piece attacking me for uh, making our events because they said that my events were not financially sustainable. The Rolling Stone wrote in print. They put that Clay Clark has bitten off more than he can chew. No, this is how it works. You build 160 revenue streams and you take those streams and you devote it towards saving America. And that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm doing it. And, uh, I've gotten to be very good friends with Eric Trump and Cash Patel and General Flynn. And now we're kind of, I don't know, it's Team America. And none of us uh, have any agenda other than to save America. And you see, that's what I love about you. You know, I, 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 I heard that you had, you know, some, some, some unique uh, uh, tales of woe, we'll say, to get where you are. And now that you are where you and now that you are where you are through hard work, a good work ethic, you're, do, you're sharing that with other people. And you're being, and, and you're, what you're doing is by sharing with other people, you know, is that now you're able to help them do better. And, and now you're taking your mission on the next step to save America. And I absolutely love the fact that you're giving back. No. Now, I'll tell you this. Well, I, love, I, I love always this. say save America. But I'm, all, I'm actually trying to back off on saying save America a little bit. Because a good friend of mine, uh, Zoe Rochelle, I don't know if you know Alfonso Rochelle, he and I had this discussion. He says, William, America is already saved. We have to be grateful for what we have and be able to share that grace with other people to be able to help protect America for those who are seeking to destroy it. And so that's one of the things I recognize about you is that you're grateful for what you've been blessed with. And now you're giving back to the community that helped you get there in a way that helps protect our country to help others not only get where they need to be, but also save our country for the, or protect our country. I'm not, I'm not going to disagree with you. And I just want to make sure we we're very clear. So people don't uh, put me in a, a c category that uh, it's uh, inflated uh, uh, it all. You know, I grew up poor, right? So I grew up poor and I'm in a capitalistic country. So we have unbelievable freedoms here because of the right. brave men and women that died right. fighting for us. So I have enjoyed the fruits of the American dream because you can't, 
it is true. I always wake up at 3 a.m. and I always work until six or seven and I do it six days a week and I will never stop that. And my my definition of retirement is uh, uh, my, my, my definition of retirement would be taking Sunday off, which I do every week to spend time with family and go to church and I do it again. So I, that's the same thing. But but none of that, my work ethic and my skill set, what I do, none of that would be possible if we don't have freedom. And so right. it started off as just a self-preservation thing. I was thinking, I got five kids. I don't want my kids to not be able to, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be unable to feed my kids and I've got 160 clients and I want my 160 clients to be blessed. So I'm going to fight back on behalf of my 160 clients on behalf of my family now on behalf of my kids. And I'm also a libertarian. So I, I don't, I don't really like Republicans or Democrats. I always vote Republican, but I, I don't like either party because I've seen the uniparty. So that's where it started. And then through my research, I began researching, wow, CERN is located on top of the former Temple of Apollo, and that's in Revelation 9-11, the bottomless pit. Wow, CERN has a logo 666. That's weird. Wow, the World Economic Forum, their logo is 666. That's odd. Wow, MIT has a patent for a cryptocurrency that goes under your skin called the quantum dot. Look it up, folks, MIT quantum dot. Uh-oh, the word corona is 666. If you look at the number, the word corona is 666. When you look at it, I mean, the word corona is 666. Bill Gates has a patent for a cryptocurrency oh, wow. that goes under the with a publication number W02020060606. It's W02020060606. The Google Chrome logo is 666. You start to go, the legislation they've written to force us to put the shots under our skin, it's called HR66666. So I started thinking to myself, you know what? I think this is biblical. And my wife, if she was here right now, my wife would say, I told you it was biblical. I told you. I told you it was spiritual. <laughs> they're all they're and always I right, Clay. <laughs> I tell you what, my wife's been very, very accurate. And so I I over time I discovered, wow, this isn't just a bunch of people who are confused about a virus or the models that said that 2.2 million people would die are false. These people aren't confused about budesonide and ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine being effective treatments. These are nefarious people that seek to end America and to usher in a Luciferian one world agenda. That's what that's mm -hmm. the plan. And I'm going, uh oh. So now it's become more of a spiritual battle. Um, where you're gonna hear me if you attend our event, you're gonna hear me ref reference Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through 18. You will see pastors on our stage, you will see prophets on our stage. So at our event in Miami, as an example, this would never happen, by the way, at all in the Republican Party before now. It would never happen. This is what we have. Right. We've got Amanda Grace, a prophet who always freaks me out, by the way. Julie Green, a prophet who always freaks me out. And then you got Eric Trump, Cash Patel, General Flynn, uh, Dr. Stella Emanuel, Dr. Simone Gold, Sean Foyt, the praise and worship leader, Pastor Mark Burns. And so the entire day, it's like the passion of the patriot is is it, it's mixed with prayer and prophecy and, and the whole thing. And so it's really Klaus Schwab's Great Reset versus God's Reset. You know, and that's where it's at right now. And and, and it's uh, uh, mind boggling that we're still doing these events. Um, and I'm honored to do so. And uh, just over time, there's been more and more discussion asking if I can uh, help more and more uh, use our skill sets and talents to do some other things as President Trump leads into the 2024 elections. And I'm just telling people out there, I'm on the record saying that I'm 100 percent President Donald J. Trump all the way. I'm using all my time, treasure and talents to help save this nation. And that's what I'm doing. And uh, I'll tell you this a little pro tip. A lot of the people that I've helped um, on the movement, they always will call. They always come back to me. They always go, what is your motive? And I'm telling this so your listeners can benefit right. from this. exactly right. If you have a motive on saving the nation, it changes the conversation because it's all General Flynn told me early on. He says it's mission over ego. And if we can focus on that, it opens up doors. By the way, I'm saying this on the air. If you want to come to Vegas or Miami event, I'll be happy to get you a free media booth so you can interview awesome. many of Thank these great you. names that you want to do. And if, if you can't, I get it. But I'm just trying to open up the door so great people like you. I was I was in Branson. Branson. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that's kind I of maybe what I, was, I was I was at the Branson show and I gotta tell you, I absolutely loved it. That's where I fell in love with your not only your shows and what and your I fell in love with your mission. Clay, I, I, I felt yeah. your mission. I felt the unique, you know, combination of politics, faith, and prayer, 
and, and family and country, and I felt it. And, and it's something that I think everybody needs to feel. And that's how I, I that's how I, I said I fell in love with your mission. You know, I agree with you that freedom in America is under attack. But I want to know what you think are the, are the, are the three biggest ways that freedom in America is under attack. Great question. Uh, let me do this for a second here. Off to my left, I'm a former DJ, so I like to keep my sound clips ready to go. So we'll make sure I have this. Um, the first clip here, this will be uh, President Donald J. Trump, who, by the way, on the same day he got arrested, got up and gave an incredible, he got arrested in New York in the morning. And then that night, he's delivering an incredible speech at Mar-a-Lago. And this is just a little highlight from what he said here at Mar-a-Lago here. Okay. Our currency is crashing and will soon no longer be the world standard which will be our greatest defeat, frankly, in 200 years. Okay, so for, for anybody out there who is not aware of this, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Brazil, Russia, India, and China, and South Africa. Let me hit play here, folks. Now the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, have announced plans to develop a new currency. That was April 4th on Israel 24 News. Okay, so... Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, they're all introducing a new currency. It's a new gold-backed currency. It's going to be called the BRICS currency. And the technology that, that will be running this is going to be based in Shanghai. It's called the New Development Bank. And BRICS will be introducing a new reserve currency. They'll be joined here soon. The announcement will be made that Mexico, that Iran, that Saudi Arabia are joining BRICS. So, I would call this de-dollarization. That's threat number one, where our okay. dollar loses its status as the world's reserve currency. And for anybody out there that doesn't know the history of this, in 1971, Klaus Schwab, per the recommendation of Henry Kissinger, started the World Economic Forum. And in 1971, per the recommendation of Henry Kissinger, Richard Nixon took us off the gold standard. And in 1971, per the recommendation of Henry Kissinger, America began talking to Saudi Arabia about introducing a petrodollar, where it's a dollar based on not fiat, and it's not based on gold, it's based on fiat. So it's money via decree and the way that relationship worked was america told saudi arabia we will protect you militarily and as long as you export oil at a price that we like to countries that we like and you price your oil in u.s dollars and that relationship is now over and saudi arabia is taking the petrodollar and it will soon become the we'll call it instead of the petrodollar it's going to be like the chinese dollar so okay. they're taking that relationship okay. and moving it over to China. So that's that's threat number one is the de-dollarization of America. Is that is that helpful? Oh gosh, no, absolutely. Oh, gosh, no, no, it's, absolutely. Very, it's very helpful. And I've been watching this, and thanks to you and, and, and a lot of the great patriots that you surround yourself by, I've had some of them on my show, and we've been talking about this a little bit, and I've been studying it a little bit more and more. And I agree with you. I think that is the number one reason freedom is under attack in America. Are there any other, anything like I've been oh, talking yeah, about it, what's that? I got three for you. So if you want three, oh, I'll get you for, I'll get you three. Oh, three oh yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's go to number two. Okay. Number two, this is called the restrict act. Uh, a lot of people are hearing it. It's like, Oh, this is going to help stop TikTok. No, 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 no. This, this restrict act, which is restrict act, which is being pushed by the Republicans and the Democrats. Currently, this is what Tucker, this is how Tucker Carlson described it the other night. Here we go. So one of the bills that would ban TikTok is being pushed, as we said, by senators in both parties. It's called the restrict act. Mark Warner of Virginia and John Thune of South Dakota, Democrat and Republican, introduced this legislation. This bill isn't really about banning TikTok. It's never about what they say it is. Instead, this bill would give enormous and terrifying new powers to the federal government to punish American citizens and regulate how they communicate with one another. For the first time in history, it's possible to completely eliminate privacy. Mm -hmm. It was just never possible before. And it is possible now. Something fundamental has changed. This guy speaking right now is, as you've all know, Harari, the top advisor for Klaus Schwab, a man who's calling for the removal of Benjamin Netanyahu. His name is Yuval Noah Harari. The bill would regulate, quote, certain transactions between persons in the United States and foreign adversaries. And then the transactions with foreign adversaries would include, quote, any acquisition, importation, transfer, installation, dealing in, or use of any information and communications technology product or service, including ongoing activities such as mandated services, data transmission, software updates, repairs, or the provision of data hosting services. Any mitigation measure to address any risk arising from any covered transaction with any person 
or with respect to any property subject to the jurisdiction of the United States. Oh, 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 oh. These covered transactions can involve, quote, current, past, or potential future transactions. And the mitigation member measures include, but are not limited to, throwing American citizens in prison for 20 years. So you would be allowing the executive branch, the Biden administration, to regulate speech on the Internet. And if you are somehow involved with a, quote, foreign adversary, or let's say you oppose the war against Russia, you go to prison for 20 years. OK, so that's called the Restrict Act. And that would be the second major issue facing America. And that's right now as well. And, th- and this is something that's going is flying under the radar right now. And nobody's even and nobody's even looking at it. Right. And everybody yeah. and wants to think that, 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 that freedom's under attack via the Second Amendment or the First Amendment. Well, this this is the First Amendment. But you're showing how people aren't even paying attention. And this is what's going to happen. Right. And right now, I'm going to be very clear right now. There's a concerted effort to remove President Donald J. Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu from the playing field. Now, let's be very clear. Benjamin, Net- Benjamin Netanyahu is the prime minister of Israel. Israel is a country chosen by God. I believe that sincerely. And America is a, ch- a country that chose God. They want to remove the countries that choose God. Now, this is the next audio clip. This is the third issue facing America right now, and it's called the implementation of central bank digital currencies, uh, or you might call this uh, Fed Now, Fed Now. And uh, the, the central bank digital currencies are a programmable currency that you can turn on or off in the way you can turn on or off a light switch. So here we go. I'm pleased to join you at the Fed Now Early Adopter Workshop. So it says, who's that voice? Her name is Lael Brainerd, Lael Brainerd, the vice chair of the Federal Reserve Board. She announced on August 29th of 2022 that on May, that in May, that's very soon, very close to now, in May of 2023, Fed Now will be ushered in. Here we go. Together, we'll be ready to launch the Fed Now service between May and July of 2023. CBDC. If that happens, we're done. A, a, a key difference. In- okay, this is Augustin Carstens. He was asked the question. This is the head of the Bank of International Settlements, the general manager of the Bank of International Settlements. Augustin Carstens was asked the question directly. Hey, uh, how do the CBDCs work? And this is what he says. A, a, a key difference in, with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that expression of central bank liability and also we will have the technology to enforce that i mean covid makes it it accelerates the process of digitalization and automatization it legitimizes the deployment of mass surveillance and it makes surveillance go under your skin several central banks have like the bank of england already prepared their microchip implant RFID chip to be implanted under your skin. This is Richard Warner, Richard Warner, mm-hmm. top professor in the mm-hmm. world on CBDCs, and he just said this. And several central banks have, like the Bank of England, already prepared their microchip implant RFID chip to be implanted under your skin. CBDC. If that happens, our current... Okay, so that's what's going on. I just think people don't know that they don't quite understand that and they're hearing this for the first time clay how do we stop this this? well um i encourage everyone to wrestle with what i'm saying theologically speaking okay so i believe right now i believe we're living through luke chapter 21 and matthew chapter 24 and revelation chapter 6 what i believe we're living through revelation chapter 6 luke chapter 21 matthew chapter 24 that's what I believe. Now, that's that's a belief I have. Now, factually speaking, 27% of the Bible is prophetic and 73% of the Bible is historical. So most people haven't read a lot of the um, prophetic aspects of the Bible because a lot of theologians would con- convince you that, well, that doesn't really pertain to right now. So Daniel had this vision that he shared with King Nebuchadnezzar that there would be a fourth kingdom that would attempt to mix the miry clay with the iron. Well, Klaus Schwab has a vision to introduce the fourth industrial revolution, which would in- usher in mixing the miry clay with iron, a.k.a. transhumanism. So I believe we are living through the fulfillment of Revelation chapter 6, Daniel chapter 7, Luke chapter 21, Matthew chapter 24. And I believed that, and I've always believed that. I talk about that at the Reawaken America Tour events. Mm-hmm. However, 
Um, now uh, people are seeing this, that the Euphrates River is now dry. And someone says, well, why does why does that matter? Well, in the Bible, if you, open, if you go to time to free America.com, time to free America.com, I have organized all this so you can read it right there. Time to free America.com. I have a button at time to free America.com where it shows the 65 biblical uh things that are happening right now. And one of them is the Euphrates River is now dry. That's Revelation chapter 16, verse 12 through 16, that the ways of, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Okay, so it says, and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Okay, so what just happened five hours ago? Uh, Russia just moved their ships into Saudi Arabia ports. For the Literally first time. five hours ago today on, on, on April 6th. Yes. Uh, also, two hours ago on April 6th, uh, you began seeing rockets fired on Israel. 36 rockets, I believe, were, fire, were fired within a 30-minute window of time. We'll call it 30 rockets have been fired into Israel right now. This is happening right now, okay? And now you have Russia and China. They've teamed up together to announce that they have a, a military relationship, a a commercial relationship. They're no longer trading using the U.S. dollar. Uh, Brazil has announced that they're teaming up with the BRICS nations. So all I'm saying is you're seeing in the Bible, the book of Revelation, it references a 200 million person army. Well, what country could field a, could field a 200 million person army? China. Right, exactly. So you look at so if you look at the United Nations and you look at the statue in front of the United Nations that was put there recently, it's called the Guardian of Nations statue. Look it up, folks. The Guardian of Nations. It's in front of the United Nations building. And that fulfills Revelation chapter 13, verse 2. I referenced how all the CERN, their logo is 666. The World Economic Forum logo, their logo is 666. The Google Chrome computer that powers CERN, their logo is 666. The technology made by MIT is to allows you to store your medical and financial records under your skin, and that's called the quantum dot. What? Look that up, folks. MIT quantum dot. So we're seeing the fulfillment of the prophetic aspects of the Bible. So if somebody says, um, where is the hope? I have a way different answer you're ever going to hear from a politician. So I'm going to give I'm not a politician, but I'll read it to you. This is from First Thessalonians chapter four, verse 13 through 18. And it says, But I would have you, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. A lot of people are asleep. And ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. What? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together in them, uh, with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So I would recommend everybody looks up and gets right with Jesus. That would be my thesis <laughs> is look up, get right with Jesus. Step two, after you've done, after you've checked that box, I mean, it. you need to invite Jesus into your, into your heart. Repent of your sins and get right with God. Second step I would recommend you do as is work without fear. Matthew 5.10 says, Matthew 5.10 from the Bible says, Blessed are ye who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for ye shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Know that you will be persecuted for your faith. It's going to happen if you fight back. That's right. And then That's third, right. Um, do you have a gold and silver sponsor, William, that you recommend? I, I do not, but I would like to have no. one. Okay, well, I'll just say this. Um, I personally buy gold and silver from a company called mm -hmm. bh-pm.com beverly hills precious okay. metals that's who i buy from bh-pm.com but if somebody out there wants another opportunity or another recommendation i used to buy a lot of gold and silver from a company called goldline and along mm -hmm. the way over the past few years um what i've discovered is a lot of my most close to, uh, my most trusted patriotic friends all buy from Beverly Hills Precious Metals. And so that's why I began buying from them because I kept hearing people that I trust buying from them. People that I know that own banks that are patriotic were buying from Beverly right. Hills. But I've had no problems with Goldline either. So step one, get right with Jesus. Step two, big steps here. Work without fear. Know you will be persecuted for your faith. Three, three, 
I would recommend you stock up on gold and silver. Step four, I recommend you go to MyPatriotSupply.com or some other resource that you trust. I don't have a promo code for you, but my Patriot Supply and get stocked up on foods here in a good spot. Also, another provider is Sherwood.tv, Sherwood.tv. He's a doctor who makes organic food designed to last a long time. That's Sherwood.tv. And finally, step number five, go to TimeToFreeAmerica.com, TimeToFreeAmerica.com, and you can watch the Reawaken America Tour documentary for free tonight at TimeToFreeAmerica.com. You can find jobs that don't require the shots at TimeToFreeAmerica.com. You can get a COVID-19 vaccine religious exemption from pastors you can trust at TimeToFreeAmerica.com, and you can request one of those final 250 tickets for the Reawaken America Tour of Miami, Florida at TimeToFreeAmerica.com. You know what, Clay? I think this is ama- th- those is a- that's an amazing step-by-step things to do list I think that we need to do. And, and like you said, there's a lot of people that are asleep at the wheel, and those are the ones that I'm also trying to wake up because we got so many people that don't see it. They ignore us. They say, oh, those are those, those crazy conspiracy theorists. But when you come to the table with all the proof that you have, that you've got at your website, that you have at your, at your rallies and your meetings, nobody can deny it. And that's why I appreciate you so much. Hey, William, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you carving out time for me today. And I'm sorry my schedule is just back to back to back. But Project Save America continues. Thank you so much, sir. But we'll do it again sometime. Thank you very much. Everybody else have a great day.